This video is going to be a major warning for the Bitcoin bulls because it looks like Bitcoin could have a correction in the short term and I'll be using this chart to predict this potential dump. And as well, what are the altcoins doing right now? It appears that Ethereum is exactly moving here to the downside in Bitcoin valuation. As I talked about in the last video, I will tell you guys exactly what my next prediction is for Ethereum and the other altcoins. So make sure to watch this video till the end and of course make sure to sit down, relax and let's get into this video. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel and happy new year of course to everyone. So right now this is the new year, this is 2021 and it is actually kind of one year that Team Underground actually officially started and I started this channel around the 23 of December in 2019. So this is pretty much right now exactly one year later. So you know I'm very happy actually that we blew up this channel all the way here to about 30,000 subscribers. And as well, I'm very happy that Bitcoin is pumping. So I'm very much looking forward here to the next year. Now let's dive here back into the TA because what is happening? Now to be honest here, I think that Bitcoin is actually ready here for a small correction or maybe even a big correction in the coming few hours and the coming few days. I will be using a couple charts to actually predict this. But what is very, very important is that just by looking at the price action, we can actually see that something very odd is kind of going on. And that is that right now the price is clearly slowing down. You can see that, you know, the Bitcoin price had quite a few nice moves here to the upside and mostly were very quick but this move here to the upside you can very clearly see that it is losing strength here around the 30,000 US dollar level and you can as well see that the price is currently setting some kind of a round top structure and if you go for instance over here you can see that you know when the Bitcoin price sets this kind of a round structure it generally means that the price is going to have a reversal to the downside and when the price actually set this kind of a ball structure it means that the price actually gets a continuation to the upside so Using this trick, you can actually try to find out where the price is actually going. And I could share you some more comparisons, you know, throughout the chart. But what is just very important here is that the price is just clearly getting quite a bit of trouble here, breaking further to the upside. Now, if I go and I check the historical volatility, you can see that the historical volatility is hitting here quite low levels on the four hour time frame. And again, generally when historical volatility is going to these kind of levels, it means that quite a big breakout is incoming. So you can see it over here as well, where we saw low volatility, we saw kind of a round top structure, we went here to the downside. Then again, we had low volatility here, we saw a little bit of a ball structure, so then we saw the price here move to the upside, and now again, we're seeing a low volatility and a little bit of a round top structure. Based off looking here at the price action, I believe that the price is going to move here to the downside. And if I go here onto the longer time frame, you can actually see that the Bitcoin price is currently retesting the same level on the 3-day RSI time frame as we did here back around 20,000 US dollars. And that's where we saw around a 15% correction here. So, you know, I think that again, we're having a lot of trouble here breaking here further to the upside. And I think in the short term, a little bit of a pullback is likely. And again, you know, in the longer time frame here, we're just extremely overbought. And generally when we are on this level, we do see a very big correction. So I'm not gonna sit here and say that Bitcoin is going to dump 20 or 18,000 US dollars. You know, it can of course happen, but I think that it is more important just to warn you about a potential correction and you know don't be surprised if there is going to be one and as well you know if you are trading i'd say don't go into any kind of a big long positions you know i'm not a financial advisor you know do whatever you want but just in my opinion i think this is definitely not an area where you want to be going into any kind of a big over leveraged position especially on the long side now another very interesting indicator is the fear and greed indicator and this basically shows you when there is a lot of greed and a lot of fear in the market Generally, when this goes all the way here to the red area, you want to be buying. You saw it over here at around 3K and then as well over here around 4K. And you know, it kind of works very great here as well. We saw the price go into this green area and that's where you wanted to be selling. And as well, you know, you saw every time it went into the green area, we saw a pull back here to the downside. And then when it went all the way to the top level here, that's when we saw the autumn high. So again, we're seeing here green area. I'm not saying again that this is going to be a top but another major warning here that, you know, there is a very high probability that the price is going to have a short term pullback here before going here further to the upside. To be honest, for me to become really comfortable to go into any kind of a big long position, I want to see, for instance, this indicator reset, you know, maybe back here towards the neutral zone and see, for instance, the RSI as well here, correct here back down to around 55. That would really actually be quite nice. You know, that would be, in my opinion, quite a interesting setup to actually go into a very big long position and maybe even buy a little bit of Bitcoin. But at this point in time, no, I'm not feeling it at all. I think that we're slowly here moving towards the top. And I think that we are going to be looking here at a short term pullback. Now, something that is as well quite interesting 
is that every time we see a new year, we basically see a reversal the other direction. So for instance, here back in 2019, you know, on 30th of December, we saw actually the price was inside this bear market. And then when the new year actually happened, that's when we saw a reversal here going into the other direction. And as well, we saw it kind of over here where we kind of went here to the upside a little bit. Of course, we were still in this downtrend, but you know, we actually had this small move here to the downside. We saw about four candles here to the downside. And then once the year changed, we saw here a short term reversal to the upside. And the same thing over here as well, where we were inside this downtrend. And then on the new year, we saw a short term reversal to the upside. And you know, kind of here as well, move here to the upside. Then the new year happened. We saw a reversal in the other direction. And the last one here that I'm going to show you is, yeah, we had a move here to the upside and then the new year happened. We went a little bit sideways, but then we still got this dump to the downside. So, you know, every time that we get into a new year, we see a short term reversal into the other direction. And of course, we're right now in 2021. And I think that it is not too unlikely as well that we're going to be looking here at a short term reversal, maybe some sideways action and then a further continuation here to the upside. So everything, in my opinion, is pointing to the fact that Bitcoin is going to get a short term pullback, but we are still in a very big uptrend here. So I'm definitely not going to be shorting the market here. I'm not going to be selling anything like that. In my opinion, if there is going to be a correction, it's going to be a short term correction. And, you know, I'm probably more interested in going into a long position when it dumps than actually trying to short the market here or trying to actually sell into the market. Because I think that the probability of a further continuation to the upside is so much more likely. And I think there's much more money to be made actually playing the market here to the long side than actually trying to calculate where the top is going to be and maybe make you know a few percentage shorting the market so yeah i am a little bit bearish on bitcoin and yeah i think that the altcoins you know they're going to continue to go here to the downside as you guys know a few videos back i think it may be actually the last video the ethereum in bitcoin price had quite a decent move here to the upside but they said you know this is probably just going to be a fake out and we're probably going to be looking here at a further continuation to the downside and that is right now already happening i think that many of the altcoins in Bitcoin value are going to move much and much further here to the downside. And as well, the Bitcoin dominance here, yeah, you can see that the Bitcoin dominance is still moving here to the upside. My target is still going to be here around 80. I don't see any reason why there would be an alt season, you know, at any point of time here. I believe that the first major resistance for the Bitcoin dominance is going to be the 80%. The reason I believe that this target will be hit is because we saw here an alt season at 50%, 60%, 70% now I think that the next likely target is going to be 80% and at that point in time once the price goes to this level that's when we actually see again a alt season before you know we might see the Bitcoin dominance move here towards 90. So in my opinion you know the altcoins I'm still staying away from them um, but if the Bitcoin dominance does move to about 80 I might actually be interested in picking up a few altcoins here and there and actually trying to make a little bit of profit in Bitcoin value. So you know yeah I think that this is actually the end of the video I think that Bitcoin is actually quite ready here for a pullback to the downside. In my opinion, um, I think that Bitcoin is still in a very strong uptrend. It is still going to move much and much higher, but you know, corrections, they just have to happen here, especially in the short term. And I think that it is probably ready to get one here again in the coming few days. Now, as I said, I am interested in going into a long position and I'm not looking here at shorting the market. So if the price indeed moves here towards the upside, you know, that would of course still be fine. It would definitely surprise me because I don't think that that is very possible right now. But if it does happen, you know, great little surprise. But if the price here does get a little bit of a pullback, you know, I think that that's a very nice gift here from the Bitcoin peers to go back into a long position and make profits here again when the price moves here back further to the upside. Now, this was actually the end of the video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Of course, make sure to like and subscribe and join the free Telegram. The link is in the description. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye bye.